am so glad you joined me today. Today I'm going to show you how I make bookmarkers. They're fun and they're easy and they make perfect gifts. I am going to show you how to do the thicker bookmarker only because it's going to be easier for you to see on the video camera. I'm going to need tape. I'm going to use yarn or thread, um, depending on which one you want to use. This one was $7 at Walmart, and this was $2. And I like this because it makes a thinner bookmarker. You're going to need scissors. I usually have a bowl so I can put my beads in. You're going to need pliers. Okay, you can use any kind of beads you want. I kind of like the, the smaller beads because they're daintier and they give it a good look. I really like the look of the wood beads because it's kind of a natural look. You can make it any color you want if you use glass beads, but you really have to watch because some of the glass beads have really tiny holes and you might have a hard time getting it through the ends of your thread. I also use a basket. And I put a little crochet hook on the edge of my basket. I guess you could use any anything, but this is the easy way that I do it. I just take the loop and I put it over top of it, and it holds it steady so that when I'm weaving, it won't be moving all over the place. When I cut this string, I cut it a little bit longer than the book and I doubled it up. See how I folded it in half and I doubled it up. Now the outside string, which is going to be longer, is going to be twice this side. See I, I fold this in half, I doubled this up as well, see there's the short piece and the long piece is twice the size. You take the two pieces and you even them up on the ends. You have your top two loops and give yourself a little bit of room so that you can put your beads on and have your frilly end. You tie a knot and I put it over top of my uh, crochet hook which is attached to my basket. Now you take the two long pieces and go on the outside. The two short pieces go on the inside. And this is how you start. You make a loop and I put it underneath the two short pieces. See that? You take this long piece and you put it underneath of that loop, this string that made the loop, and then you go over this and you pull that through. So you have this. There's your first one. Now you're going to do the opposite side. You loop this side, and then you take this one, and you go underneath of the one that you just made the loop with, and then you go over and in this one, and pull it through. So then you have this. Do you see how easy that is? Now I wanted you to see something. See how this has the little loop over top? This is how you're going to know where your next loop is going to be in case you forget. Always do the opposite side is where the loop is going to go from that loop. So this is the side because that loop is there. This is the side that's going to get the next loop. Then you go under and through that loop. Now look, that loop is on that side. 
so you automatically know that this is the side that's going to get the hole. You go under and through. tie it off like I tied it off up there. And I take my scissors and I cut it even. Now you're going to need tape and your beads. I'll take a little piece of tape and I'll put it on the very end and this will help it go through the little hole of the bead. Now that I have all the ends taped, I'm going to get my beads and I have my pliers. And I'll look for beads that have bigger holes and see how it, you could pull that through. You grab your pliers and you might have to twist a little. Maybe you got one bead on. And when you're done putting all the beads on, like I have here, I have all my beads on and I tied knots in all, at all the ends of where the beads are. I usually take my scissors and I cut them evenly, just to cut the tape off. And then you take the ends and see how they have all the little strings separate the strings on the ends. See, there you have a pretty little book marker. And there it is. Doesn't that look pretty? I hope you enjoyed making your book marker. And since we're talking about books and book markers, I'd like to share with you a book that I've read. The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. Now I think that it is a wonderful book that goes along with Choosing Easy World. You put them together and they enhance each other so much. You have a great day full of ease and joy and I'll see you next time. Bye! I love the smell of books. It's a great aromatherapy. <laughs> Look! A halo! <laughs> I'm such an angel. I never thought of it that way.